Hi there, my name is Lo. Welcome to my channel where I discuss everything between Hermes and grocery bags. Today I wanted to talk about 10 bags that I would definitely get again if I had to restart my whole collection. I've split it up into three categories, the first of which is staples. These are bags that a lot of people have in their collections and I think also makes sense for a lot of people to have in their collections. First up is a luxury tote. This is the YSL East West tote. I did a video about this fairly recently where I basically said I don't think this is worth the money so I'm not really sure if I would be getting this again. Perhaps I would if I could get it at a similar price as back then but having a luxury tote I find it's just super convenient. I use them for work quite a lot. It's low-key. It kind of just goes with everything in my wardrobe so very convenient one for me to have. Then next up is the Loewe puzzle. This one is in the small size and this is also definitely the size that I would get again. It's just a very convenient bag. It's durable. It has versatility to it because you can wear it top handle, crook of the arm, but also with a shoulder strap. The zipper makes it very secure, but also quite easy to access. This is a very popular bag and I totally get why. I would definitely want to get one again. Then a bag that's been having massive popularity lately. It is the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. I have them in the sizes mini, small or medium, I think it's called nowadays, and large, but the mini is definitely my favorite. Kind of similar to the Loewe Puzzle. It has versatility to it. Also, again, zipper, secure, but easily accessible. Wear it as a top handle, crook of the arm, or shoulder bag, crossbody bag, because it does come with a longer strap as well. This baby packs a punch. It has a very reasonable price point, and because of the pebbled leather, you also don't have to worry all that much about getting it out in the rain. Speaking about getting it out in the rain, the long jump le pliage bag has definitely been my ride or die for rainy winters here in the Netherlands. I'm not going to unpack it here, but this is in the size large. I have three of these now, two in the large, one in the small. All of them fit my laptop. This just wears so comfortably over the shoulder. It packs a lot. The zipper makes it, again, secure but not too difficult to access and they're really luckily not all that expensive. I think this is probably the bag that I would get first. I find this a bag that is just very very worthwhile at least for my lifestyle. Then the second category is bags that might not make a lot of sense to everyone but that I actually reach for quite a lot. Starting off with the Mulberry Alexa Mini. I know a lot of people find this bag annoying because of the closure but for me it is a style that pretty much goes with everything. The leather on this bag is really amazing. It doesn't per se have a lot of versatility to it because this top handle is quite small. It's beautiful by the way but at least you can easily grab this bag and just go and I think it's just a gorgeous piece to have in your collection. Then the Givenchy Pandora. I will always bring it up. I will never talk about it very long because I've done a review video about this. Again I just love the versatility of this bag because it does come with a longer top handle that you can wear over the shoulder as well, but also with a crossbody strap. Secure because of the zippers, yet easily accessible. The zippers also give it some organization because you have a bigger main compartment and a smaller front compartment over here. It is Givenchy, so it is a luxury bag, but this is one I really don't have to worry about at all if I take it out. It's a very low key, if you know, you know bag, and because of the durability of the Pepe leather, I'm also not really scared of taking it out in the rain or getting it scratched up. Then next up is the Maggie Wandler bag. I know I've been raving quite a bit about this bag recently. Initially when I got it, I wasn't really sure how it was going to work out for me, but since I figured out this worked very well as a crossbody bag, I've just been in love with it. Very low key, elegant style of bag, fits really Really quite a lot. Again, very secure because of the zipper on top. You can kind of see that there's a theme going on here, but just because of these things like versatility and security, it's just very easy for me to reach for a particular style. And this is definitely one I would like to have back in my collection. And then last in this category, the Marc Jacobs J Mark bag. I haven't had this for very long, but again, this is just one that you can reach for so easily. The color is really nice, goes with a lot of things in my wardrobe, has a lot of versatility to it because you can wear it as a clutch. It also comes with a chain strap and with a fabric strap, but because both of those are detachable, you can basically put on this bag whatever you like. It is not super big, as you can see. It doesn't have a lot of depth to it. And then again, this is still the bigger version of the bag. They also have it one size down, but it's just a very convenient style for running errands, for example. So if you just need your phone, card holder, sunglasses, car keys, this bag will definitely fit 
all of that. And then the last category, which is bags that probably don't make sense really to anyone or not to a lot of people, but have just stolen my heart and I need to have them. First of all, the Luewe hammock. <laughs> Turn it around because here you can see the branding on the front. I really love how this bag looks, but I've done a video about it where I've already told you that it's quite inconvenient to use this bag just by how open that it is. So I will usually carry this as a top handle, makes it a bit more secure, but wearing a top handle is not something that I can do or want to do every day. So that's also why this bag is not really one that I would reach for all the time, but I really do like it so much that I think I can definitely be tricked into getting it again if I had to start all over. And then finally the JW Anderson Pierce bag. This is in the biggest size, the medium I think it's called. Whereas the Loyalway hammock you could say is still kind of a classic. This one has definitely proven not to be. It was very popular a couple of years ago or at least it sort of had its two hot minutes. Now you don't see it anymore anywhere and it's also gone out of production but it does mean that you can get it at an amazing price. This is not a super impractical bag but a couple of things that are impractical about it is that it's kind of an harmonica style bag. So depending on how full it is, it might stand up, it might not. The opening of the bag doesn't have like a clasp or a magnet to it. So if you hold the bag upside down, it will definitely open up. So if it falls off a table, all your stuff will probably be on the ground. And it also only comes with a very short shoulder strap, which luckily you can take off. But it is one that I do always exchange because the strap that comes with it is just too short for me. This is one of the first bags that I fell in love with in the luxury bag realm, which is why it will always have a place in my heart and most likely also always a place in my collection. So that's it for today. Hope you found it useful and or enjoyable. If you have any questions about these bags, drop them down below for me in the comments and I'll get back to you. Remember for now, there's a styling, a situation and a taste for everything. So don't judge, wear whatever the bag you like. Until next time, or as we would say, nudge, doei!